Hi, today I want to show you how to create this effect, which is like a pixelated glitch. Um, and I didn't ha really have a clue how to do this because I ca couldn't find any tutorials on the web. And uh, uh, before that, I came up with this glitch, which is uh, right now you can't really see it here. It's in bad condition right now, but uh, actually it would work. You just create a, a random color uh, or a random vector, which then re represents a color, and uh, uh, you compare it to a random random color, and then replace it with the uh, replace color. Node. But turns out that it's not really. You can't really. Uh, create any uh, lines with that because it's always creating this circle so then I came up with another idea instead of replacing the color of the UE uh, I'm just uh, um, tiling uh, my UV let's say it's the glitch UV I'm just tiling it and um, we're using uh, a random number for tiling so uh, um, you know offsetting it but we're tiling it so uh, we are, the way we're tiling it we're just generating a random number which, which then is floored and then it's uh, get, going to a random range node or to the seed of the random range node and that is uh, generating some random numbers for our tiling um, Yes, um, what we do over here is we have like an untouched UV which then is feeds which then feeds into posterized node like our glitch UV down here. Both the uh, posterized of the glitch UV and the uh, posterized of the unt uh, of the untouched UV have the same va steps value, so they they are uh, pixelated in the same way. So we are generating, we are splitting our untouched UV, taking the uh, uh, the G value, and which more or less stands for the Y coordinate. So we can't use this uh, position node here because uh, uh, yeah, you, you could use a, a position node also, but I decided I just go with the split, and uh, I compare our Y value of the UV with a random gem generated number, and uh, so one second uh, uh, the Y value is like 0.5, and the other second whatever. So then we branch our, uh, we compare our. Uh, um, if that's true, if 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 the if the if the value is greater, uh, the comparison val uh, node returns true. And then we use the branch node and check uh, 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 the value of uh, the boolean. So if it's true, we're uh, uh, we're sending our glitch UV for everything that is over that uh, value, uh, over the random generated y, y value, which is generated um, down here. And yeah, if it's true, we are we are using the uh, using the glitch. If not, we are using our uh, uh, our untouched UV. You also can keep it even further. You also uh, can uh, can say that you just want to have like uh, you can also doing an and uh, after that and uh, doing the same with an x value. So then, it's not uh, uh, glitched over over the whole x range. It then becomes glitched only in a, in a, a certain. Uh, uh, it's more spe specific. The region you're calculating is much more specific. Um, I hope this may help you. Also, uh, in the end, what I have to say is we just branch. Uh, we just lerping. Uh, the reason why we have like also we have like this untouched UV is because we then can lerp between that and uh, have like uh, a glitch amount uh, parameter. Yeah, I hope this may help you and uh, 
you may have a nice day.